Uh, uh, Mr. Putman for two minutes. The gentleman is recognized for two minutes. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I rise in opposition to the Frank Dodd bill and that would not reform Wall Street but instead create a permanent taxpayer backstop and fail to provide consumer protection and, and doesn't prevent a future crisis. The permanent bailout would ensure that the federal government, through the FDIC and the Treasury, maintains the ability to use taxpayer funds to bail out financial institutions deemed too big to fail. That may be what's important to the D.C. bureaucrats, but to the community banks and credit unions back home and the communities they serve, I can assure you it's not. They're treated as too small to save. Our community banks, our credit unions, our small businesses don't receive this special treatment accorded to the big guys in this bill. Instead, they go through the bankruptcy process. Why the double standard? Why the double standard for our communities? They didn't cause Wall Street's collapse, and yet they're held to a different standard. This is harmful to Main Street small businesses. The legislation creates an Office of Financial Research to, quote, monitor, record, and report on any financial transaction, including consumer transactions, without the consent of the consumer. That's right, monitor, record, and report any transaction without your approval. This new Big Brother bureaucracy will be funded through assessments on financial institutions that trickled, trickle down to consumers through higher fees. According to the CBO, the cost of the proposed fee would ultimately be borne to the cons customers, employees, and investors. The legislation welcomes a new Washington Knows Best Bureau. Housed within the Federal Reserve, the credit czar will dictate which financial products can and cannot be made available to consumers and will have broad authority to set sales practices, limit products, and mandate compensation. The Bureau misses its mark to actually protect consumers and will instead create more barriers to consumers' ability to obtain credit, to pursue their dreams, to buy a home, to refinance, or to expand or save their small business. This conference report, totaling over 2,300 pages, is bad for small business, and I urge its defeat. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Gentleman.